Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Hall of Fame College Football. I'm the host, Jason Watkins. He's the coach, Philip Royball. And if you love college football, you know you're in the right place. So before you forget, smash that red subscriber button, like our videos, and don't forget to ring the bell so you don't miss one moment of the Hall of Fame College Football Podcast. So, uh, Hank, uh, let's see what we got in here now. Professor, what's up, Professor? Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Uh, Cody, have you ever been kicked out of late kick? So, Hank, you got kicked out of late kick with Josh Pape. What the hell? <laughs> that's talent. It, it, yeah, it, I got to say, um, that's pretty solid there, Hank. Pate kicked you out? What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to getting into some shit. I love That's it. hilarious. Talented day. I love it, man. What did you do? I love it. Hey, you know, that's the beauty of burner, those burner accounts. You can still watch this show. But uh, let's see. The BSC of fans should be down to argue. I'm surprised that because you see a lot of that in there. Now it's not, it's certainly not high top sports, and it's certainly not uh I wouldn't tell you that it's uh like McAfee, but I didn't think it was that soft, right? You were arguing with Texas fans? Come on, what else would they expect? <laughs> uh, it's a little bit soft, and that's something we do. We can talk about a little bit as well. In fact, let's talk about that for just a second, Coach. Before we jump into this other stuff, I wanted to bring this up to you. So last week on High Top Sports, they were talking about, and I think we may have spoken a little bit about this, but but never on there. So last week you had on three, which is one of the recruiting services. And they, there was a number and Cody help me out on this just a little bit. How many players was it that got their rating dropped by on three after they jumped after they did that. Right. Uh, when, when they, when they committed to Florida, how many of those guys, I know for sure about one whose spot dropped like 70 spots coach. And we're saying, and it was 70 spots, and we're talking about at the time, there's no there's no spring practice, there's no practices going on, there's no competitions, nothing like that, right? Um, so it's weird. It's just yeah. weird to me that, that they would, uh, that those are dropping. So High Top brings it up, and then Pate goes after him and says, I've had meals with this guy, he's not that way. But it was a 70-spot average lot. So there's 10 guys that have dropped. Ah, shit, I thought it was less than that. Wow. Okay. So there was 10 guys, 70 spots on average losing. And look, I'm not, you know what? I've said this a bunch of times. I'm not a conspiracy theory guy. I call it like I see it and stuff like that. But when you look at this and then for, for Josh Pate to just blindly say, there's no way that this happened, that this isn't them doing this or blah, blah, blah. There's, you know, of course he works for CBS which is 247 Sports, and they're recruiting. And apparently, I guess this guy used to work there. I don't know. It, but he immediately jumps to the defense and against High Top. And, and, of course, this guy's got almost 200,000 subs. High Top has 15,000. High Top's a big dude. He's not as big as Josh Pate and CBS, right? But he goes in and kind of attacks him on Twitter. And when people are coming back at him, his only answer is, well, I've had many meals with this guy, and I know better than that. Are you shitting me, Josh? Are you freaking kidding me? I don't mind you going, and, mind you going and sticking up for your buddy if that's what you're trying to do. But if you don't have a better answer for a seventy kid average loss after they commit, then that I I, I got to tell you, I got to call bullshit on you. What do you think about that, Coach? Well, I, you know, I, I I call bullshit on that too because yeah. guys, you know, when 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 there's kind of a dead period in there, and and you're gonna drop somebody that much, it's ridiculous. I don't care who the kid plays for. I don't care what team it is. At the end of the day, you can't with right. I, I don't know. 
I, I want to say with a sound mind, and that's I think that's part of it. With, with a sound mind, you you shouldn't you can't even respond to why did that person drop that far. Right. You, you don't have a good answer. Well, you they, never they didn't even have an answer for it. that. Was the thing is that when it started being said, and it wasn't just coming from high top, it was coming from numerous places. Right. Of course, the Florida fan base was like, What the freaking crap? And it, and here's the other thing that I the, the reason that it bothers me, coach, it's not even because you know I don't care about the star ratings and shit like that. It doesn't, I mean, it's great for you know, for fodder for us to talk about and sure. things like that. Sure. But here's the deal, and particularly when we start talking about on three. On three is the one out of the four that has this where they they put a value on the player, an NIL value. Right. Okay. So if you're going to drop these kids an average of freaking 70 spots, what that does that do to their kids. NIL? What does that do to their NIL valuation? Mm-hmm. It drops it. It's just like a guy that, that drops out of the first round of the draft, right? You know, that's a lot less money if you're not and and not guaranteed if you're not in the first round of the NFL draft. It's the same shit here. They're not going to give you as much money on that NIL valuation. And I don't care what we're talking about here. We are at a point of pay for play. There's no two ways around it. I don't want to hear anybody saying different because we know better. But you can't do that. So you and, and if you're going to make that deal, and particularly at a time when you, they haven't had any competition for you to judge them off of, unless you were telling me that you've went out there and specifically looked at this kid versus the other 70 freaking kids that you just tossed in front of them in the last couple of weeks or whatever, you need to have an explanation. I agree. Right? I agree. Yeah. It's 100%. Time. But, but they can't. They can't explain it. Yeah. It's... Yeah. <laughs> and they don't explain it. And they, I mean, the, all they've done is kind of back, 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 back. They're backing up and all that kind of stuff. And instead of jumping in there and doing something about it and say, you know, give us a reason why we should believe in you. Give us a reason why we should believe in you. Don't tell us, don't ever freaking question us, you know? And right. and if you're Josh Pate, you need to be on the right side of that, Josh. You got to be. And I get it that you work for CBS, but that should make you be on the right side of it even more. Because it matters. You know, if, if look, man, if, when you start thinking about, okay, how many, how long did it take before they finally allowed a football team to go to Las Vegas because of the gambling and then what they were concerned right. about? Because you right. can't right. even have, you don't even want that, uh, you know, that out there at all, any kind of, narrative no matter if it's true or not true you cannot have the look of impropriety when it comes to that it's the same thing with this nil evaluation stuff it really is and and don't think for hey you know what you know what sooner cowboys i'm gonna tell you you're right right here might as well give ga and bama all the five stars and the, here's the deal how many of those guys aren't really five stars but they're getting paid by a Georgia, Bama, whatever whoever and i'm not and i'm not saying i'm not making accusations i'm just saying Who's out there that's paying for this? Because if this is happening to Florida, but it's not happening to Bama and not happening to Georgia, why isn't it? And why is this got, because is it, so you're telling me that you're dropping that many places for that. Who, who was the one that got dropped the most, man? Throw that out there, professor. Cause I mean, I followed this from the, from the side and, and I'm just telling you what I feel about it from what I'm hearing. Well, right. And I believe in what I heard the kids. They're hurting the kids and they're hurting programs. Mm-hmm. Right. Even the Texas guy that does voice of college football said to me, explain the holding calls. Hey, and you're right, man. You're right. And they should have to. And that was what we've, we've been talking about that too, is that look, it, it, it Vegas has, has Texas and OU at nine and a half wins. So, which you know, the over under being at nine and a half wins. So if they do what they're expected, they should be playing for it for the big 12 championship. They should now, whether or not they will or not is, is another question. And bottom line is there were four total holding calls against a big 12 opponent for those two teams combined last year. There's no, it's, it's, it's a fact, right? It's a fact. So, you know, yeah. Yeah, and listen, I get it, Shannon. Yeah, Shannon. Yeah, exactly. And look, man, bottom line is, I'm just going to say it. 
Bottom line is, is that you, these improprieties out there is why people don't trust you. It's why people don't trust you. And then with kids, I mean, you're really screwing them over. I mean, damn, they've had to freaking be labeled as cheaters to get paid now up until this point. And then finally they give them NIL and you're screwing them over on the money. So that would be the question. Is it, does it, is it just that it helps Georgia and and Georgia and Bama and whoever else, Texas for that matter, anybody that they continue to have a top five class because you know, they, they rank a guy higher than what they should or, and drop other guys lower than what they should. Is that what, you know, or is it because they drop some of these guys and, and here's the other thing. And this is the one thing I'll, I'll give you Cody that you may not want to hear this part, but who's to say it's not Florida saying, Hey, drop these guys because we don't want to pay that much in NIL. Right. Although they did say it after the fact it dropped after they, they went there. Right. But I'm saying it, it, no matter what it is, you are showing a reason to question you. This is a reason to question you. And if you give that, then, and then, then don't sit there and tell me that we don't have the right to question them because we do. And, and let me tell you guys, anytime we all know college football is a big money game. Big, big mm-hmm. money game. Absolutely. And, w- and when you get into big money, guys, whether we want to admit it or not, there's some barroom deals, backdoor deals that are made because it it amounts to money in people's pockets. And right. you know, uh, again, I'm not I'm not accusing anybody of it. I'm not. But I'm just saying there's there's something wrong here whenever that if you've got 10 guys that have dropped 10 guys, I don't care if they dropped a couple of places. The bottom line is, is that they're dropping at a time when there's you're not evaluating them. You're not evaluating them. It's just weird. It's just so, weird. Okay. So, so my so my statement to that would be, Jason, you're dropping them that far when you're not evaluating them. So did you do that crappy of a job? evaluating that you just now made a decision right. that boy, either I made it look good. Yeah. Yeah. Either way, it doesn't look good, man. And that's all I'm saying. And, and, but, and I think that, you know, and I'm, I'm a fan of Josh paid. I, I enjoy his show. I think he's very good at what he does. His story on how he got to where he got there is amazing. Um, I think that this is the time that you need to not be a homer for CBS and, and this guy, I do. I think it's time for you to step up right here in this spot and not do that. And if you are going to say that, that you trust in Shannon and all that kind of stuff and, and all that, then you better come with more than I've had multiple meals with the man and know better. That's just, I mean, what do you, so what? So what? It, it, show me, show me a reason we shouldn't believe what we heard from Shelton at high top. Okay? Not that you show me a reason. Dinner together. Yeah. Yeah. I don't give a shit about what you had for dinner. Don't. I do care about you, chicken. Made some lasagna. I hope it's well. All right. <laughs> uh, the running back that flipped from Florida to Georgia the next day gained 120 spots. Oh, no, that doesn't look bad at all there, Professor. Holy shit. <laughs> we're going to have to do a show just about this alone. All right. We're going to move on because this is insanity, right? Yes. This is insanity. <laughs> no. <laughs> 